Hey guys, welcome back to another PlanScript video tutorial series video. And today in this video, we're gonna continue from where we left in the previous video, which was comparison operators. So in our previous video, we discussed about the use of comparison operators between the constants and strings. Okay. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the comparison operator in series, booleans, and color and lines and labels. So first thing is always keep in mind that there are basically six comparison operators that are available in PineScript and they are used to compare one thing with another, okay, or one variable with another. So here we are saying that close is less than two, which can either be true or false. So the output of this comparison can either be true or false and it will be in the form of series, okay. And this series will be assigned to this identifier. And in next, we are saying that literal series and A, in which we are saying close is less than NA. Now, as in the case of constants, the result of comparison of NA is always false. So here as well, we'll get a series which will be false. Okay. So this false series will be assigned to this identifier. Now we are saying low is less than or equal to high. Now again, this has two possibilities which can either be true or false. So this can this series can uh, contain true or false and this will be assigned to this lte series identifier again here we're saying close is equal to two okay now this again has two possibilities it, it can be equal to two or it cannot be equal to two so this will have two results which will be basically true or false and it will be in the form of series again and this series will be assigned to this identifier here we're saying close is not equal to close which is basically going to be false throughout so this is will be a false series and which will contain false and this series will be assigned to this and not equal series identifier okay then we have high is greater than 1.0 now okay this has I this can either be true or false and it will result in a series of true or false and this series will be assigned to this gt series identifier going on next we have high is greater than or equal to low now this can again either be true or false it in most of cases it will be true okay it, in majority of cases you will find this true so the result can either be true or false and this will be assigned to the GTE series identifier okay it, it can be false in case if you're comparing one candle to another okay in single candle it will always be true okay the high will always be greater than or equal to low but when we're comparing one candle with, a, with another candle those can be different that can be a different scenario okay so in that case it can be false as well now let's look at booleans and how you can use the comparison operators with booleans and the we cannot use the comparison operators or that is less than or greater than in co comparison of billions because they will always result in an error okay client script just doesn't know how to handle with that you might think it's gonna give you false but it's gonna throw you an error so you cannot use the true or false with the comparison operator of greater than or less than you can only use the equal to so here we're saying true is equal to true and the result is going to be a boolean which will be true that will be assigned to this e boolean okay and then we are saying true is equal to false which is going to be false because true cannot be equal to false then we're saying false is equal to false which is going to be true because false is indeed equal to false so this will be assigned to this e boolean 3 identifier coming up next we're saying that false is equal to na now we have discussed a one case in which the comparison of na operator gives us the true that was empty string okay with, with no spaces in it and this case here is again gonna give us false gonna give us false okay the only the only case where the n comparison of any variable gives us true is the comparison of empty string if we had empty string here and we were comparing it with na that would have given us 
our true results but other than that wherever you see an a variable being compared the result is always going to be false so here we can see that the result is going to be false and it will be assigned to this identifier now coming up next we have the true is equal to an a this again is going to give us the false result and we are saying true is equal to one which is also false because true is not equal to one true is just a boolean operator which gives us either true uh, boolean operator and it cannot be compared with an integer okay and as i said in the beginning that false is you cannot compare a boolean with a string as well it's gonna throw you an error okay and here we're saying true is not equal to false so this is going to be true okay and as i said in the beginning here that you cannot use the comparison operators of equal to uh, of less than or greater than in between the booleans so these again are gonna throw us an error now let's see how you can use the comparison operators with the color so here we're comparing color dot green is equal to color dot, dot green which is going to be true okay and here we're saying color 4 caf 50 is not equal to 4 caf 50 which is going to be false because these are same in magnitude okay and here we're saying that color dot green is equal to 4 caf a 4 caf 0 which is going to be true okay here we're saying that it is these are not equal which is not going to give us false and here we're saying color dot green is equal to 4 caf 50 which is going to be true okay here we're gonna compare the e color that is basically this the result of this is true okay and this e hex the result of which is false so what we're saying is true is equal to false which is gonna give us the false result and this false will be stored in this e comp okay and here we're saying that for ca for ca f 50 is equal to 4 ca f 50 now both these codes give us same color if we use in the them in the prime script both of them are going to give us same color but when we compare them the prime script takes them as not both are not equal however if we use in prime script they both are going to give us the same color but this is just how prime script works because these are case sensitive so so even if they're going to give us the same color but when we use represent them by case sensitive letters okay they when compare them they're gonna give us the false result and this false will be assigned to the, this one here now let's see how you can use the comparison operators between lines and labels so here we have started a new line and this line requires four arguments that those can be those are x1 y1 x2 and y2 and we have assigned zero for each one and here we have started another line which is basically e line 2 and we are also given it the arguments of 0, 0, 0. Now, you might think that these are two same lines. So these both lines are equal. But when we compare them in Pine Script, both of them are going to give us different result. Okay. So when we say that E line 1 is equal to E line 2, it's going to give us a false. Okay. Because even if both of them are same, both of them are starting at same point. Okay but the pine script treats them as different lines because both of them are different objects so the result of this comparison is going to give us false okay and same thing goes for label uh, just as lines same thing goes for label so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them also please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be the first one to know whenever we upload new content you can also visit our channel page in order to visit the PineScript video tutorials playlist if you want to learn or clear your concepts about PineScript. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.